Hi guys, I have a show tomorrow and I want to show you how I'm prepping for it because whenever I have a show, I want to sound my best, feel my best, look my best, just show up and have like a good energy throughout it all. And I want to show you how I prep for it because I think it takes a little bit of intention the day before and it's like 5 p.m., 6 p.m., I don't know what time it is, um, but I'm just taking an evening walk and drinking a shit ton of water. I'm pretty sure I've refilled my water bottle like three times and I'm not done. I'm gonna keep hydrating because that's very important. And I'm gonna make myself a tea later. Um, and so I'll talk to you guys when I get home, but I'm just doing a brisk little walk around the neighborhood. Probably take me like 45 minutes. So just to get things flowing. So taking a little sunset walk um, because it's easy for me to get anxious when I have something to anticipate the next day and I can tend to get a little bit anxious and like ruminate on worst case scenario stuff so I'm just taking like a little like sunset walk just to relieve any like tension in my body and just to also reflect on my day and reflect on tomorrow and just reassure myself that it's gonna be it's gonna be all good okay i just got back from my walk and got my water bottle and i just refilled it again so i'm just gonna be sipping on this i'm also just like weirdly thirsty today i don't know um but i'm gonna be drinking this all throughout this evening and i'm also gonna make a tea as well um, and I'm also going to take a shower. I'm going to do some lymphatic drainage too. Just all the self-care type of stuff. Um, just so I'm feeling good tomorrow. Because I kind of have a, I, I kind of have a fear that like I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning and I'm going to just feel mentally bad. Like I just, that's been happening to me a lot lately. So I'm just trying to combat that the best I can. Okay. So I've been trying to figure out what to make for dinner and I think I'm going to make a little teriyaki bowl. So I'm using literally like frozen ingredients because I actually don't have like any fresh food <laughs> right now. So I have like some frozen broccoli because yeah, frozen broccoli, I have edamame and brown rice. And so I'm going to air fry some of this and make a little bowl. I also have some pumpkin seeds I could put on top and like some teriyaki sauce. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, this is the finished product. So just edamame, broccoli, some pumpkin seeds that I roasted from a pumpkin that I carved and brown rice and the Trader Joe's soyaki sauce. Hey guys, it's a little bit later. I just showered, I shaved, I gua shod, I did all the stuff. I did some dry brushing before I hopped in the shower. I didn't wash my hair because my friend Sarah, who dyes my hair, she is gonna be styling my hair tomorrow and I just washed my hair last night so it doesn't need another wash again because i want it platinum and striking and um so it doesn't need to be washed again but i'm making myself a cup of tea i'm going to show you what tea i'm going to be drinking it's this one it's like a it's a dandelion root tea which is good um it says like dandy liver detox um but i like the ingredients in it dandelion root milk thistle lemon peel lemongrass peppermint ginger licorice rose hip like it's that type of tea and um i get really like nervous that i'm gonna have like an endometriosis flare like when i need to be performing on stage and stuff and um this is just i just want to drink a cup of tea before bed that's kind of what this is just to 
lower inflammation in my body um, and hopefully prevent a flare up or something. So I'm making the tea right now. I've got my favorite Bluebird mug and it's a really big mug. I'm like, oh no, the tea bag like tag fell in. Ugh, I hate when that happens. I hate when that happens so much. Ugh, I'm gonna have to like fish it out, but do you see how hot this is? <laughs> so while my tea is brewing, I wanna do my nighttime skincare because you can't really see it. It was a lot worse like a day or two ago. I've been really trying to work on this little breakout that I've got going on right here. So I just wanna keep that up by keeping up my skincare. Um, but it's really improved a lot. Um, so I guess I can show you what I do. I'm not a skincare expert at all, but I just find that these things work for me. Um, so if you have anything to say about it, um, I think I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing because I think this helps me a lot. So I'm just like patting some micellar water on my face. I've heard bad things about witch hazel, but I use it and hasn't really done anything negative for me. So I've just... I just don't want people to like come for me. I don't want people to like come for me for like my skincare. Cause like, I just feel like this works for me. So this is just your reminder, do what you want. The night serum, retinol and niacinamide. And to end it off, I just use a salicylic acid um, moisturizer from CeraVe um and I've been like reapplying it on my face like all throughout today and like all throughout yesterday and I think that's the thing that's like really helping my little breakout on my chin so it's like right here and I also like I was picking at my skin too because I was stressed and I know you're not supposed to do that so I'm just trying to Stop that. I already feel a little bit more glowy. <laughs> That's my skincare. I already feel a little bit more glowy and good. Okay, I know this looks so weird. <laughs> this looks so weird, but I'm watching YouTube and I'm using my vibration plate. It's good for blood circulation and lymphatic drainage and just to kind of reduce some swelling in my legs because that happens to me a lot. Someone decided to snuggle with me. Good morning. It's 7 a.m. and I just woke up. And I refilled my water bottle. I'm going to be hydrating a bunch again today. And I'm going to make some breakfast. Okay, so not doing hair, not doing makeup. None of that for right now. I'm going to do that later. But I've just been getting everything together for today. So I've got my guitar packed. My makeup is packed. I've got my extensions. My dresses. So I have two dresses at the moment. I can show you. Uh, I can't really decide on which one to go for. So the first one's this like deep red dress and it's got like a little bling thing in the front. And then the other one is like this gold reflective dress, which is really cool. And I found this like cool black silky trench coat to put over it if I get cold because it is starting to get colder at night. This is what I have on, um, just something, something comfy. The Titans kind of suck right now, but it's whatever. I've done this a million times. These are my prom shoes from high school and I still wear them to my gigs and stuff because they are by far the fanciest shoe, like blingy shoe that I own. 
and I just wear them over and over and over again for fancy stuff like this. Lay like that. Look at her legs. <laughs> Pretty girl. Hello. These are the babies I'm taking care of today. They're both very sweet little love bugs. This is Dane, and the other kitty's Lex. looking better. It kind of looks a little worse on camera, but it was this whole section that just took a toll. Yay, I just finished my kitty visit and that means that I'm free to start focusing on the show for the day. Um, it's funny because this kitty visit that I'm at is literally right next to where my ex-boyfriend my very, the very first boyfriend I ever had is where he used to live. Okay, so I just picked up some coffees for me and my boyfriend um, from Elegy, which is like the best coffee shop in Nashville. They make their drinks so creamy like every time and I don't know how they do it. Like I don't know how they do it. It's so, every drink is just so good and like smooth. Um, so I just got cold brews with a little bit of oat milk and I'm loading stuff in the car for some check. Get in there. I don't know where to put this. That's probably not where it goes, but you know. Yeah, but